What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English vid. In today's video, we're going to focus on a grammatical aspect, more specifically on verbs that require the ing form, infinitive or both. I've prepared a kind of quiz so that you can find out how well you master this area. There will be 11 questions. Do you accept my challenge? If so, let's kick off. Before we start, I'd like to correct one mistake that I made in the previous video and funnily enough, it's related to today's content. After the expression when it comes to, you can use a noun or if you want to use a verb, you would have to use the ing form. So, in the second to last example, the correct sentence would be To tell the truth, I don't think that the carrot and stick approach is the best when it comes to motivating employees. We need to use motivating and not motivate because after when it comes to, we have to use the ing form. With that being said, let's start with our quiz and our first sentence, which is I can't stand to deal or dealing with apathetic people. Apathetic people son gente pasota. So you need to choose A or B. What do you think? The correct answer is I can't stand dealing with apathetic people. Can't stand means no poder soportar and after this verb we have to use the ing form. I can't stand doing something. Our sentence number two, I think you should give up to smoke or smoking. What do you think? The correct answer, I think you should give up smoking. Give up is a phrasal verb and after a preposition we always use the ing form. Give up doing something. Was it correct? I'm sure it was. Let's move on to our sentence number three. Did your boss let you take a day off? To take a day off or taking a day off? Choose the correct option. The correct answer is did your boss let you take a day off? Remember that after the verb to let, you have to use the infinitive without to. The same happens with the verb to make, to make somebody do something. For example, his boss made him finish the report. But be careful, if it's passive, we have to use to. For example, he was made to pay the fine. In this case, we have to use to. He was made to pay because it's the passive form. Now let's look at our sentence number four. I really fancy to travel to Japan or I really fancy traveling to Japan. Which answer do you think is the correct one? The correct option is I really fancy traveling to Japan. After fancy, we have to use the ing form and the same happens with the verb feel like and it means the same. So you can say I fancy going to the cinema tonight or you can say I feel like going to the cinema tonight. And now let's move on to our sentence number five which is I can't help to eat cocoa beans or I can't help eating cocoa beans. So choose the correct answer and it is I can't help eating cocoa beans. After can't help, we have to use the ing form and it means no poder evitar hacer algo. And it's true, I can't help eating cocoa beans. Cocoa beans son granos de cacao and I really like them. Okay, let's continue with our quiz and our sentence number six is I have no doubt that it's worth to travel the world or traveling the world. Choose the correct option. And it's I have no doubt that it's worth 
traveling the world. It's worth means vale la pena and we have to use the ing form. It's worth doing something. So in my opinion, it's worth traveling the world. Would you agree with that? Okay, let's move on to our sentence number seven and it's your flat needs to clean or your flat needs cleaning. So the same, choose A or B. And the correct answer is your flat needs cleaning. Be careful with the verb to need. You can use the ing form or infinitive, but there is a difference. If it's active, you would use to. For example, you need to clean your flat. It's active. But if it's passive, it would be gerund. The flat needs cleaning. Or for example, the car needs fixing. But you need to fix the car. Our sentence number eight. I wouldn't mind to move abroad or I wouldn't mind moving abroad. What do you think? The correct answer is I wouldn't mind moving abroad. After the verb mind, importar, we always use ing. Okay, let's continue with our quiz, our sentence number nine. After shopping the whole afternoon, we stopped to have a snack or we stopped having a snack. Pick your answer. The correct answer would be we stopped to have a snack. Be very careful with the verb to stop because after the verb to stop, you can use or the ing form or infinitive, but there is a difference in the meaning. If you say stop plus ing, it means that you finish doing something. The activity is over. For example, he stopped eating junk food. It means that he doesn't eat junk food anymore. But if you use infinitive after the verb to stop, it means that you stop doing something in order to do something else. For example, I was walking along the street and I stopped to have a drink. It's like I stopped in order to have a drink. So be careful with the verb to stop. Two more to go. Our sentence number 10 is I will never forget to travel to Australia or I will never forget traveling to Australia. Pick your answer. And the correct option in this case will be I will never forget traveling to Australia. Be careful with the verbs to remember and to forget because after them you can use or the ing form or infinitive but there is a difference in the meaning. If you use ing you talk about memories. For example, I remember meeting my best friend for the first time. It means that I have this memory in my head. But if you use the verb to with to, it means something important you have to do. For example, please remember to do your homework. It's something important. Or for example, I forgot to finish the report. It was something important and I forgot to do it. And last but not least, the sentence I'm looking forward to traveling to New York or I'm looking forward to travel to New York. Which one is the correct? It would be I'm looking forward to traveling to New York. Remember that after to look forward to, we have to use the ing form. Okay, and it means tener muchas ganas de hacer algo. So how did you find the quiz? Was it difficult? Let me know your score in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and to subscribe to English Bits. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao!